I recently acquired the Hoover Concept One. It's an earlier model Concept One. Um, and you can tell because it's got vinyl outer bag. Later model Concept Ones have cloth outer bag. And also it has this very ornate H Hoover emblem on the front, which I quite like because I like ornate things. Um, runs very well. Um, it's missing cap to one of the wheels, which I'm going to eventually get. And um, it's got a little bit of surface dress on this brush roll here, which again, very, very common to see on these older Hoovers, the metal brush roll. So, there really isn't anything special about this vacuum, or really any concept one for that matter. However, um, I guess one thing that stands out about these older concept ones and concept twos is that there really aren't very many vacuums, if any, that will clean carpet quite like this vacuum can. It's an incredible amount of airflow. The base, it's got very aggressive brush roll with beater bars and stiff bristles. So, it, it cleans carpet extremely well. Um, better than just about any other vacuum cleaner ever made, honestly. Um, so that is really what the main attraction of these vacuum cleaners are. Putting that aside, yeah, they're heavy, they're loud, they're noisy, they don't filter very well because they, they, it's a direct air vacuum. However, I am using HEPA bags in this vacuum. You can use HEPA Y bags in this vacuum, they fit just fine. They're a little bit smaller than the original A bags that were meant for this machine, but they work, so they'll make it filter a little bit better. Um, actually, it'll make it filter a lot better. Oh, excuse me. And, uh, the lights still work. There's two bulbs, one right here, one right here, and now they both work. Um, and they work quite well. Um, so like I said, it's a very loud, very heavy, very cumbersome vacuum, but it cleans carpet like just about cleans carpet really like no other vacuum cleaner. So that's the main attraction of this vacuum and they're very reliable. They last, you know, for decades. And with proper maintenance, you know, you change the carbons, actually they could probably run virtually forever because I still see these things um, 40 years old and they still run perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, these vacuums really were made to last. Um, it sounds like they're, they were at one point very popular for commercial use too. You know, a friend of mine actually uses one of these commercially still. And, you know, I don't blame him because um, it really cleans carpet really like no other vacuum cleaner. Um, some vacuums come close, but again, very few vacuums come close to carpet cleaning um, when it comes to looking at this machine. And it's a two-speed. See, it's got the switch on the back, low and high speed. The cord rail still works pretty well. See, it's right here. Some models, it's a little bit slow, but um, some models did not come with um, a cord reel. I had a later model from 1990 that had a cloth outer bag. It was blue, and that one did not have a cord reel, but it was self-propelled. I've had a whole bunch of these over the years. It's got self-propelled, non-self-propelled, Concept 1, Concept 2. They all basically sound and work the same. It's really just the features that are different. So, without further ado, I'm going to run this Concept 1, and it is going to be very loud, but I presume most of the people who are watching this video already know that these are very loud vacuums, but it's okay, because this vacuum is not meant to be quiet, it's meant to clean carpet, and that it does extremely well. So without further ado, here is the Concept 1, and let's set it. I'm just going to set it to the self adjust.
so that is the concept one. I forgot to mention that the power drive on this machine's a little bit jerky. Um, goes pushes itself along a little bit faster than I'd like it to. I personally prefer the system on the Kirby's, but putting that aside, it's still a very powerful vacuum. I'll show you the bag quick. I haven't had much time to give it a clean up. It's not that dirty. It's a little bit dusty, but I'll say that for a later day. I just configured a bag to use in it uh, because I don't have any Y HEPA bags, but that is a HEPA bag in there. Actually, for simplicity of right, but it works. I just took an A collar and glued it onto the old simplicity bag collar, so that works. Can't remember if I have a, a hose for this. I think I gave all my hoses away. I used to have a couple of hoses for this, um, this kind of vacuum cleaner, but I don't think I have them anymore. But it's a very good vacuum. Again, cleans carpet incredibly well. Probably one of the best cleaning carpet clean vacuums ever made. So. You know, that kind of is what makes it stand out a little bit. And they're still very common. They made them very well. They sold a lot of them. So you can still find a decent one for not a lot of money. So if you're looking for a good carpet cleaning vacuum and you don't really care about the weight or the noise, you know, this might be for you. So hope you enjoyed the video.